Hi guys, welcome back to part dos of my get ready with me because we're going out to eat and we have to go look at mattresses and wanted to show you my hair tutorial. Not that I'm an expert, but I do have long hair and for an older woman, I do have to kind of play it up as much as I can before I have to cut it all off, right? Mm. Um, and I just got done using the Piper Y deodorant, which I use, I love. It's activated charcoal deodorant. I first saw it on Shark Tank and I basically ordered it from there and I've been using it for years ever since. It works, it's good stuff, it's natural. And because I have, um, hopefully this isn't TMI, but I have breast cysts and I find that regular deodorant gives me pain under my arms and you know in that area and ever since I started using this pain gone and also I take primrose oil every day and that also really helps with breast pain so if any of you are going through that primrose oil 1300 milligrams and switch to the Piper Y or something natural um anywho so thanks for tuning in lip shoes and issues and I'm Jeannie and this is part two so I bought the Kristen S uh, wands because I find that cause my hair is long, it's hard to, I like the wave. I like to put, you know, waves that go, I like either a beach wave or, you know, I like to kind of flip my hair back and it's kind of hard. But this is like a, this is a two inch barrel, two inch, yeah, two inch barrel. And this works really well, Kristen S, and I got it at Target. And then this is pretty cool. This is a pivoting wand. I don't wanna burn the cord there. This is a pivoting wand, so it pivots. How cool is that? And they all go up to 425 degrees. I just turned it off, turn it back on. But it pivots. Pivot. Remember friends? Remember Ross on friends? Pivot! This pivots. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like it. Put it back. So I use any type of volumizing uh, texture spray. You know, I mean, I don't, I mean, I know a lot of people rave about different ones. This one I think I got on QVC with a, it came with a hair tool some sort you know textures texture it's sticky until it's no longer sticky and then I just drop my hoop my hoop okay sorry for the mess in my bathroom but I didn't have time to clean it I mean it's clean I just didn't have time to straighten it up doesn't matter do you care Alrighty, that stuff dries pretty quick, which is what I like. Let's get started, shall we? I'm kind of keep. I'm kind of. I'm not going to. I just want to show you how this works. I'm not going to do the, the, you know, sections like everybody likes to do because I'm really not doing my back, the back of my hair. I'm just. I just want to wave it out in these areas here and then maybe bring a little volume up here and that's what I really like about this wand here I go to the end it smokes a little bit because of the texture spray but it's not burning my hair but this is what I like it's so wide that it really gives that natural which is all I'm really looking for. The natural, like almost like a blow dry look, you know? And then I, I'll do another section down here. Football's on. I don't know if you hear some yelling, but then I'm, this is all I'm gonna do here and a little bit more over here. And because of the pivoting, I'm gonna use the other wand for the pivoting, which it's pretty cool because when you, you know, you're probably really good on one side and not the other. That makes it so easy for the other side. 
but uh, the curls last, you know, if you're using a texture spray. This is really what I'm looking for. And then I'm going to do a little bit here. I just kind of go forward and then and then I'll like as if I'm blow drying it like that. You see it stays stiff because of the textured spray. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And I'm gonna go over here on this side. This side is kind of um cut differently because I so it's not as layered as the other side so I do have it on the highest setting I know a lot of people don't agree with that but I'm always you know in a hurry So, and then I'm just doing this next section and, and um, I'm not going to smooth out the back because I'm not really worried about it. And then, uh, go out like that because again, I just want to get the hair, you know, doing that fair faucet thing. warm in this bathroom. Um, you know that fair faucet look, but a more uh, casual look, feel to it. So that's uh, really all I want to do. Maybe I'm kind of liking this right here. I don't know. Whatever. I, uh, maybe I'll do this part here. A little bit. Kind of keep it loose at the top. And then let it tighten it as you go towards the bottom. And because it's a big wand, you're not getting a big curl. You're kind of just getting a wave. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to use the pivot. 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 <laughs> oh, let me pivot it first. Let's forget where this is going. One thing that really is tough is the, the buttons are right there when you're trying to pivot the thing. There we go. You can do it using the end, so even though if it's hot, you're unless you're uh, clumsy like me, and then you drop it. Just be careful. My bathroom is kind of small. I don't use the bigger bathroom for myself. I use the little bathroom. So watch how cool is this. It comes with the little gloves if you want to use the gloves. But obviously it's not going to stay like that. But it just, just this gives you some body at the top, which is kind of cool. And easy, which is what I like. Oh, and by the way, if you watched my Get Ready With Me before this, the part one, I changed my lip liner to Max Swirl. And then I added some Fenty highlighter up here at the cheeks, just for a little bit of drama, a little bit of drama. 
Now, this is the cool part about this because this is the hand that I'm not really good with. And easy peasy. I got this at Target, the Christus S, the Kristen S. Get a little longer. The Kristen S wand. Both of them are from Kristen S. The large two inch barrel and then the pivoting. You can always just twist it like that. And then one more. Do one more. Because I'm just doing this for body. Really not doing this for curl. Maybe a little bit of a beach, beach wave. You do have to be careful with this. I just touched the wand with my finger accidentally and it burned. So you just, you know, you got to be careful. But there's, you know, if you're used to something like this, um, they do come with little gloves. You may want to use it. Uh, now, you don't have to actually brush through it. You can just use your hands, fingers. That's what I like to do. I don't really like to, you know, I like the sloppy, beachy, wavy look. This, of course, will calm down. And... You can use hairspray if you want. Um, the hairspray that I really love, I'm not gonna use it today though, cause, but I love the Evita air control. Oh my God. Because it's, it's that you can, um, it's soft enough for you to still play with, but it does definitely hold the, the curl. But see, got some body, definitely have body. It's the perfect curl for me. I'm going to brush a little bit, just a little bit. Just to blend it out. See? It's really cool. I like it. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm really happy with the way my hair turned out. Uh, and it'll probably stay this way for until tomorrow when I go ahead and um, wash my hair again. But I also wanted to go over a couple of things that I did buy um, at Sephora. So I wanted to try this uh, fragrance called Replica. Oh goodness, what's it? Replica. They had so many of them. Mason Margiela, Mason Margella. Replica. No, I'm not really good at pronouncing this kind of stuff, but this smell. I mean, I think I read it. Uh, read it somewhere. And I just, I really wanted to try it. This smell is, okay, Mason Mar Margiela by the fireplace. This smell is a hit or a miss. This fragrance, it's a hit or a miss. Either you love it or you hate it. There's no in between. Okay, there just isn't. I don't know how to explain this, but I love it. It smells like you're toasting marshmallows by the fireplace. It's a, to me, it's a really nice autumn going into autumn and maybe even the holiday smell. It's not pretty. It's it, it smells like a mixture between vanilla and a fireplace. When you first smell it, you smell hints of vanilla and then you go, oh, somebody burning a fire. I don't know. 
I like stuff that's different anyway. I think it, it's gender, it could be gender neutral. I don't know. It could be gender neutral because of the fireplace <laughs> and vanilla. There's no prettiness to it. I don't know, I'm gonna see how people react. I'm gonna take it with me and I'm gonna continue to spray it. I'm just gonna see how people react and I'll let you know, but I like it. And I got the travel spray. Obviously, I'm not gonna get the big thing because I don't, you know, I don't wanna be around people and they go, ugh, what's that? And then I may like it, but it doesn't mean everybody else will. Um, that's at Sephora. And you can go there, the girl will, she will test it out so you can smell it and judge for yourself. Um, it was $20 for the tra travel, travel uh, spray. Now, I, because I'm eating cucumbers and celery, which I do a lot of, I bought these, um, these reusable plastic bags, BPA, love these. These are awesome. These keep everything fresh. Come here, sweetie. <laughs> you wanna be, you wanna, come here. Come here. I knew I heard, I heard somebody coming through the door. Your Gigi. Your Gigi. This is Gigi. Sorry about that. I don't know if I'm gonna edit that out. She's my, I have three, three babies. Anyway. Anyway, they come in gallon. Cut gallon. A sandwich size and then a mini size and I you get two of each. This one is wet because I use it. So I kind of put my celery stalks in this one. I'll put my cucumber in this one. But I use it for so many things. They're reusable, BPA free. All you do is rinse them when you're done, put them back, and then they come in this bag. They, you know, they came in this bag, so I just kind of put everything back in here. I ordered another set because I'm using them a lot, and I like them. And there was one other thing I wanted to show you. I bought these on Amazon also, and they're Tiffany dupes. They have, instead of um, saying forever or something, Oh my gosh. Um, these say forever love. Whereas the Tiffany ones say forever Tiffany. Return to Tiffany. These say forever love. You can't tell. You, you can't tell. They look exactly like the Tiffany's. And th I got these on Amazon. Again, so sorry that I can't, uh, that I'm not an affiliate yet. But um, I think if you... If you're if you go on to Amazon and you search Forever Love Heart posts, they may pop up. And the reason why I know that they look just like the Tiffany's because I have a, these Tiffany earrings. I got these a, as a Christmas gift years and years and years ago, and I only wear them um, during you know on special occasions. There's no reason for me to wear these all the time. I just don't want to lose them. I treasure them so much, but see, <sighs> okay. And there, it's the, it's so tiny that you can't read it and it's not really focusing in. So sorry about that. A lot of lighting here, but <sighs> okay. Now, I spent maybe $10 on these. Look. I mean, you can't really see it. You can't tell. I'm serious. You really can't tell. All right. And these are the real deal. So. Anyway. How cool is that? You can get almost anything on Amazon, okay? But... So the rating is so small, you can't tell. Anyway, so guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm, if you watched part one and part two, wow. I really appreciate that. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And I love you so much. 
I think that's all I have for today. Um, if I have anything else, of course, you know, I'm going to be back on here real soon. But thank you so much for, for tuning in. I love you all. I know you're listening to me. You listen to me rant and rave. And um, sometimes I just babble. But uh, thanks. And please leave a comment or question, whatever you have. Love you.